This is a presentation about the child tax credit, uh, the federal new child tax credit uh, expansion that was just passed. Uh, that's going to be about 300 to, 250 to 300 dollars a month. Uh, my name is Zach Zapone. I work at Better Health Together as a program manager, and I'm putting on this webinar to uh, share more information about the child tax credit and answer some questions and help community partners. Uh, do outreach to people that they interact with and hopefully get them these great resources that they could be using. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or stuff, put it in chat. These slides will be available afterwards. And it, uh, we got slides available and we got handouts and uh, for, for community partners and handouts also uh, for potential clients to use that you're more than welcome to share. I will give you it. It's going to be all on our website at Better Health Together. So I'll give it to you at the end. But here is the slide. So the agenda, I'll go over the background and the eligibility of the child tax credit, and then go through some screen, screening questions and process about what you can do to talk to people that you interact with to get them signed up. And then I'll go over the fact sheet and resources that we have available to you. And at the end, there'll be an FAQ. Uh, this should be about 15, 20, 30 minutes, somewhere around there. Um, and feel free to jump in if you've got questions along the way too. So the uh, advanced child tax credit is intended to cut the child poverty rate in half. It was passed um, beginning of 2021 uh, with the whole goal of cutting child poverty in half. There uh, was a child tax credit previously that went up to $2,000 $2, and it was refundable. So uh, families had to pay into uh, or file taxes and pay taxes to get it refunded. The advanced child tax credit payments, the new ones are all completely refundable and it expands it to $3,600. And so uh, that means if you if families did not make an income or made less than uh, the required amount to file taxes, they are still eligible for the, the full child tax credit. And so that's a big difference in the previous child tax credit. If families file taxes or filed them in 2019 or 2020, they are automatic tax payments. They do not have to do anything to receive the, the monthly payments. Uh, that should be automatic and should have actually started in July. Uh, if families did not file taxes in 2019 or 2020, they have a couple options to file. Their, they can file their taxes and they can still do that and start getting the child tax credit or they can use an IRS non-filer tax tool. And we'll go through and look at the non-filer tax tool. Uh, non-filers are typically individuals who made less than $12,400 as an individual or $24,800 as a married couple filing jointly. So if they're under that income threshold, they are not required to file taxes. Uh, if they are over that threshold, they are required to file taxes. Uh, this presentation is really going to focus on those individuals that make less than that amount and what we can do to help them uh, and support them to get the child tax credit. So approximately, uh, an analysis done by the United Way shows that approximately 2,500 to 3,000 children in the Spokane area may qualify for the child tax credit, but not receive it because their families are not filing taxes. So that comes out to a potential loss of uh, over three and a half million to almost four and a half million dollars for the Spokane region. And these are guaranteed payments, automatic money. Uh, we just need to help use your guys' help to reach out to folks to get them these payments. And so thank you for being here. Thank you for wanting to do that. Now, so just a little bit more background, like I mentioned, uh, families started receiving the, the new child tax credit expansion on July 15th and it's monthly payments. Half of those payments will be going out this year from July through December. And then half of it will actually be in the 2021 tax returns. And so that will be a lump sum whenever they file their taxes, 2020 returns in 2022, by tax date in April in 2022. The total amount again is $3,600 a year or $300 a month per child under the age of six or $3,000 a year, which is $20, $250 a month per child ages 16 to 17. If you're over the age of 17, 18 above, do not qualify. So families can receive this credit if they are the ones claiming a child on their taxes. And it would be monthly payments uh, starting now. And if a family has not filed taxes yet and is starting now, they'll get the next month 
uh, so October, November, December, and then they're still, uh, they still are eligible or they still receive the full amount of the $3,600 or $3,000. And that will just be a bigger lump sum in the next tax year. So uh, whether they do or do not file taxes or the IRS tax tool, they're still eligible for the full amount uh, whenever they do file their taxes. So there's uh, no need to, to tell people, hey, if you don't do this now, you won't get your money. You, they're still, they still get the full amount. It's just about if they want to start getting the monthly payments. And again, that's $300 or $3,600, $300 a month per child under the age of 16, $3,000 a year, $250 a month for six to 17. The requirements for individuals and families to receive the child tax credit is first, an individual must have a social security number or an, uh, a tax identification number from the IRS. If they're a legal uh, immigrant, in the US, they get an ITIN and they are eligible. Uh, if they don't have either a social security number or an ITIN, they are unfortunately unable to claim the child tax credit. The other big requirement is that individuals must be claiming a child on their taxes at zero to 17 and the child must have a social security number. The child cannot have an ITIN, unfortunately. The child must have a social security number and the parent claiming the child must be the one that, or the only, only the parent claiming the child is the one eligible for claiming the tax credit. So if they alternate years or divorced or, or whatever, uh, it goes with the parent who is claiming the child on that year. The, in general, the amount for the full amount of the, the tax credit is for individuals who make an adjusted gross income under $75,000 for an individual, or $112,500 for those filing uh, head of household and $150,000 married couple filing jointly. Uh, so if you make under those thresholds, uh, you get the full amount of the tax credit, $3,600 or $3,000 per child. If adjusted gross income exceeds that amount, the child tax credit is reduced by $50 for each $1,000 over that threshold. Um, but again, we're really targeting our efforts here at um, those people who are not likely filing taxes and reaching out to them. But just giving you this context, you know, if people come up to you and ask those questions, um, they, they must file taxes to complete it, like I mentioned. And you can check eligibility on the IRS website. It's in the slides and, and on the fact sheet that I'll share later. But I just wanted to include the link in the slides. So here's some suggestions that we have for you about assisting clients. Uh, we looked at what people around the country are doing and how they are um, assisting clients with signing up the child tax credit. And the best way to do that is to direct them to this website called CT, getctc.org. So getyourchildtaxcredit.org. So the goal is as a community partner, if you're interacting with potential clients or people that you think uh, have kids, and would be eligible for this. Um, we'll go through a series of questions at the end uh, that you can screen them for, but to really try to spread the word and let people know that they're eligible and that they should be uh, going to this website, getctc.org, to um, uh, uh, get the child tax credit. And it's a simplified version of filing taxes. It's not a full tax return. It's really super user-friendly and mobile-friendly, but we'll get into that more. One thing that you can do right away is if you have distribution lists, resource lists uh, that you have, you can use this language to share on those distribution lists to share with people that you may qualify for the child tax credit and where to go uh, to do that. Uh, we also have flyers that you can hand out, distribute, uh, post, and things like that too. That'll all be on our website. Uh, but here's just a sample of some language that you can add to your distribution list to do it. Uh, if they have an income over, the, the and are required to file the taxes, they have to uh, go to getyourrefund.org or file taxes, but getyourrefund.org has a lot of resources to help folks file their taxes who might not normally be filing their taxes. Um, there's free tax prep volunteers through that website. But if they're under that threshold, they can go get CTC and it's a super friendly resource uh, that we'll go through. So here's some screening questions that you can ask folks that you might think qualify for this. And uh, we try to narrow it down just a few questions. 
that you can say, hey, um, you can incorporate this into your intake or other ways that you're talking to them. Um, but really to direct them like, hey, I think you might be eligible um, for 300 or 300, $250 a month. Here's what you can do to get that. Um, so the first question is just to ask folks, did you have, do you have kids between the ages of zero and 17? Again, not older than 17, they have to be zero to 17. If they say no, they're not eligible for the child tax credit. Uh, but if they say yes, you can continue the next question, which is, did you file your income federal income taxes last year? Again, if they filed already, they should be automatically receiving payments. Uh, if they have not received payments yet, they can. there's a couple websites to check out included in the resource sheet too, uh, where they can follow up to, to see why they haven't received it. It might be an issue of uh, the bank not being linked to the IRS and they can update that information or they can file a trace to request a missing payment if, it, if there's a missing payment. Uh, but hopefully that's not happening to too many people. So if they did not file their taxes last year, uh, they go to the next question. So first, do you have kids? Did you file taxes? And the third question is, did you make less than $12,400 as an individual or $24,800 as a married couple? So if they uh, are under that threshold, if they made more than that amount, they need to file a tax return. And like I said, they can go to getyourrefund.org to register for free tax assistance from a VITA volunteer prep, tax prep assistant, uh, or they can do it themselves, the IRS uh, or TurboTax or things like that. Uh, but getyourrefund.org is user-friendly and has assistance. So we're definitely recommending folks to, to check that out. If uh, individuals and families have less than the income requirement, then there's really a couple options. The one that we're recommending is to go to get your getctc.org. Like I mentioned, it's a, a certified IRS non-filer tool uh, that people across the country are using, and it was developed to really make the process easier. Uh, the second option is the IRS non-filer tool, and that tool itself is uh, created by the, the IRS, so it's a little more burdensome and not as user-friendly. It works just the same, uh, but we're really recommending to getctc.org. It's much more user friendly. So here's a little bit more information about getctc.org. Like I mentioned, it's simplified, it's a mobile friendly portal. People can do it on their cell phones um, while they're in the waiting room or picking up their kids or whatever. Um, here's a website that you all can go and use and practice. It's a, a demo website, so you can walk yourself through it and practice it and help people uh, file their taxes that way, or, or it's the non-filer tool. Um, it's pretty straightforward and simple. The only information individuals need when completing it is their full name, a valid social security number, or individual taxpayer identification number in ITIN, uh, for themselves and for their dependent, their children that they're claiming, date of birth, a current mailing address, and a bank account number and a routing address. You can have checks mailed to you, but it's always recommended if possible to use a bank account, it'll come faster and regu more regular and not get lost in the mail. So those are really the only things you need. Uh, it will ask if they have an identify protection personal identification number, um, but this is pretty uncommon. This is people whose identities might have been stolen and they have um, an extra pin number to identify and it would come straight from the IRS. If that's the case for them, they need to make sure they include that information. Uh, but really, you just need name, social security numbers, and bank account information. So it's a pretty straightforward tool. And I can show you it in the FAQ too if you're interested. The IRS non-filer tool, like I said, it's just not as friendly. It's clunky. Um, to use this form, there's a, a section on there where uh, you could get tripped up. I, when I used it, I got stuck and had to spend like 10 minutes Googling how to get past this one part. Um, and it's when they ask for the 2019 reported adjusted gross income. So if they didn't, and you have to enter something that you can't continue. So if they did not have an income or they did not file, sorry, if they did not file their taxes in 2019, um, their 2019 taxes in 2020, they can enter zero on that form. Uh, the form will not let them continue without it, or they can enter a PIN number. It's tricky. Um, there's a video in the slides right here where they can go, where you all can go and look at it. And it's at the 17 minute, mi minute marker, uh, what to enter there. You also have to create a PIN number 
when entering taxes. So that's just a heads up that when you submit your taxes, you create a new PIN number. Uh, but again, I don't recommend this uh, non-filer tax tool. I really recommend getctc.org. So here's a couple additional resources to learn more about uh, the child tax credit or um, to, to practice and use on yourself. As I mentioned, getctc.org is a simplified mobile-friendly version. So please uh, point people that way. Get your refund is for people who made more than the income thresholds. Um, it also, it was originally developed to get uh, the, the stimulus checks and refunds at the beginning of the year. Um, and then it has evolved to be more sophisticated because it is a full tax return. It is a little more intensive. So if they uh, don't make those income thresholds, they can um, skip that one and get, go to get CTC. If they do work, this is an important thing. If individuals work, they're eligible for uh, returning taxes that, they've, that their employer has been withholding, or they're likely eligible. To get that, they do have to uh, file taxes. You cannot get that refund from get CTC. You have to go through get your refund. Um, there's a trade-off. You get more money back, but it is more time and labor intensive and confusing. And so um, individuals have to make that choice for themselves if they want to get that money back from their employer. Uh, it really depends on how much they made in that year. So uh, it's hard to say what that individual benefit would be. Uh, it's always great to file your taxes and get that back. But if it's a barrier, um, do the simplified one and get that money rolling to people better than, than nothing at all. Uh, for more information, just a comprehensive FAQ about the child tax credit, you can go to the Moms Rising website. They have a lot of great resources and break down a lot of information uh, about the child tax credit. So definitely recommend checking that out too. Um, with that, uh, you can answer some questions or if you're interested, I can uh, just show you the CTC, get CTC portal and, and, and if that you find that helpful, totally up to you. Okay, I do have a question. Yeah. Okay, so I don't, hopefully this makes sense. Okay, so say somebody had to amend their tax return because they like had to claim their child maybe like the person previously said, oh, I'm going to claim them, but never did. So the person who already filed their taxes amended their taxes and they just got their taxes, but the child tax credit wasn't included. What do you think is the next best step to get that back? Besides did, like calling the IRS or looking at the portal because nothing's showing up. Yeah. Them. Did they, so they amended it like recently, like within the last month? Well, it was amended like a long time ago and they just got their return like a week ago like right. it was a whole long process but that didn't include the child tax credit so i just want to give them the best resource to yeah. be able to hopefully get that for yeah. them and just kind of see where their status is at yep i would go to this the irs update portal okay and, and um yeah so take a note of that and i'll send you the link um Perfect. in the slides and everything like that but it's the okay. irs update portal i think i can open it um, are you able to see the screen share when I open it? Um, I can still see the screen share, but it hasn't opened the portal yet. Oh, I think I'm only, okay. <laughs> I think I'm sharing just the slides, but let me share my whole screen. All right. Does it show the IRS website now? Yes. Perfect. So yeah, within this, you can go and it, it gives you the managed payments and you can check if you're eligible and everything there. So that's where I would start. Is, okay. Uh, um, yeah, after that, probably contacting the IRS. Okay. Um, I think they, I, I'll have to double check if they use that, but yeah, they've been in constant contact because it had been like seven months since they've gotten their taxes. So, but I will start there. That was my question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And just for the record, I am not a tax professional. Not a, no, not yeah. A <laughs> but I, I have been a... a be the tax volunteer and have helped a lot of people fill out their taxes before. So okay. I do have some familiarity, but I am not a, a certified tax professional. Oh, come on, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a great resource. And I think it's just good to just check with people, even if you think that they already got to say, hey, did you file your taxes? Uh, no, oh, okay. You know you're eligible. Let's make sure you get that money. 
Yeah. It could be something super simple to just like now on cash, man. <laughs> well, and I would assume that a lot of families we see probably don't file taxes. Yeah. So that'd be, that'd be huge. Reverse. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I could be wrong, but um, I, I'm I sure a fair amount. Are. Yeah. So no, that's great. And um, we'll oh, go ahead. Oh, as I say, you're more than welcome to contact me in the future too. Zach at betterhelptogether.org. Um, and my phone number's there too, but uh, feel free to reach out anytime. I was just gonna show you very briefly just kind of the, the beginning of the demo that you can do yourself. So if I think I want to get your refund. No, okay, so simplify, get your CTC. And it just is pretty nice and, and clean. Did yeah, that's know? just like so easy for people. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very straightforward. Very clean, one question at a time. No, I don't want to file a, a full tax return. I right, file and simplify one. I think this is actually the date you're refunding. And then ask if you use the IRS non filer portal. So most people are going to say no. You do have to have resided in the U.S. in, in the past year. Mm, I don't um, think we have many families that didn't. Yeah, but you never know. Yeah. Claim you as a dependent? No, and they just start putting in your information, and it's pretty straightforward. And then it asks for your information, uh, your dependents' information, and bank account information. Okay. So pretty straightforward. Great. Yeah, we'll definitely check out these websites and see yeah. what we may be able to pass along to our parents. And let me give you the website to the Better Help Together website. I'll just put it in the chat real quick so you have it. Um, yeah, so that's where all our resources are. Um, and please feel free to reach out anytime. Great resource. Um, to our families and our community. And there's a lot of potential people that are missing out. So yes. uh, yeah, $300 a month makes a big impact. If you have two kids, $600 a month, that's huge. Yeah. Makes no children. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just They're kidding. more expensive than that. Yeah, it's but... exactly. <laughs> but it's nice to have it if you already have them. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks well thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. thank you for coming. And like I said, if anything does come up, feel free to reach out. Happy to be a resource. Perfect. Thank, thank you. you. I have, I'm sorry. Oh, I forgot to mention, we do have translation. We're going to have the material translated for the outreach. So oh, okay. Spanish, cool. Russian, we're getting Marshallese um, and Ukrainian, I think is also what we're getting and, and a few others. So that'll be on the website, but it'll be translated. So, uh, okay, great. Just, okay. So that's what I was going to ask. Like this, you know, you're recording it. So it will be available on your website in different languages. And okay. Yeah. So the, the video is really for the community partners. And then the resource sheets are going to be that you can give and distribute to individuals who would. Oh, great. Perfect. And when will those be ready? Um, they should be up on the website probably later today. Oh, oh great. great. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. excellent. So those, yeah, we have them already. Uh, the couple translated ones we don't have, like Marshallese we're still waiting on and Ukrainian um, okay. and Arabic. Those three we're waiting on, oh. but the other ones we will, we will have. So awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Right. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for nice coming. Nice to meet you too.